Hi guys, welcome to the video. It is a nice short one today. Um, I wasn't actually sure if I'd get one done this week, but we're going to just work on this starting page for a sketchbook. So it is, we're going to kind of work on the fl faded florals design I've been thinking about. And so when I opened my palette, I had kind of something different in mind, but when I opened my palette, that ice blue, the kind of powder blue, they're really... Um, stood out to me so I wanted to actually use it so you can see here this little emblem this is from I think this painting was done in um, the first painting of the year video maybe and so I wanted to kind of recreate this but in a different way kind of do a page with the emblem in the middle and the kind of the tapestry part in the shoe around um, the edge but then uh, I saw the blue and I really thought I might, um, I wanted to paint with that, so yeah. Okay, so you can see I kind of did the middle part and then I'm mixing together um, quite a few different colors here to sort of get a very, very, but then there's like a lot of water in my brush and in the mix to get a very, very soft uh, coloring, almost, almost a white coloring for the flowers. And so I've used a bit of the Wallace, I'm going to, I'll list what I've used below, but I used a little bit of the Wallace and Seymour Blue John, and I really like the texture in it. And then I used some of the Lapis Lazuli, the Daniel Smith one, because it's a beautiful granulating blue and very soft as well. So you can uh, use like granulating colors are really nice, especially when you put a lot, like when you dilute them with a lot of water. Uh, because they just go into these really beautiful patterns. I can't really even show on camera, but in real life, it's quite luminous and really beautiful. So um, yeah, for, for something like this, definitely try if you have granulating colors. You might have like some of the Daniel Smith, like the Cascade Greens and things, um, or like, you know, separating colors. So yeah, I just uh, sort of slowly built up the page. Uh, we did kind of the very loose r rose forms and then some uh, leaves and then I'm just starting to kind of put the, um, the sh this is the Schmincke Ice Blue. So this was a limited edition color and I don't know if you can get it anymore. Hopefully they bring it out again but uh, I think you can mix their Paris Blue with white and you'll get something similar. You could probably mix like a phthalo blue or a cerulean blue with white to get something similar as well. So yeah, I just really kind of wanted to, uh, yeah, use these colors. Uh, it wasn't really what I had in mind for the beginning of the sketchbook, but when I sat down, I just really wanted to paint with these. And you can see I'm also dry brushing over the top of the leaves some of the darker things on that is inspired by Jen Brandon art on Instagram I'm gonna link her below she's just a new artist I found her work is amazing she does a lot of animal portraits in a really loose style and it's so beautiful it's all the colors that that you know are really those like nice muted kind of colors um, and like colors we talk about and mix a lot on the channel as well so yeah uh, and then you can see that I'm using this Tom Studio pen and putting watercolors this is the Nibs holographic Katia and I am just um, I 
pretty much use it to sketch you don't need to use an oblique pen obviously for sketching but I love using nib pens for sketching and that pen is just a real treat to use so I do um, love it for that but what was I going to say yeah there's a couple of artists that I've found lately um, one is Valerie McKeon as well she's a, a soft pastel artist it's so beautiful she does have a YouTube with a some really lovely videos as well so I will link one of those below as well so you can find her and yeah just uh, it was a pretty quick page to bring together um, but yeah it was just very nice to kind of sit down for a few minutes it's been a very busy week uh, and so it was just nice to kind of sit down one of the things that I really wish I had were some leaves like actual rose leaves so I could look at them and sort of yeah like in the kind of middle there there's just a bit of a mess of leaves there and I really wish I could sort of look at them and um, I used to really like like in some of the older videos we do like rose shadows and like shadows of the leaves and things and yeah I just hmm, it's it's nice to have like something in front of you to actually kind of look at how it's moving and um, you know the side views and all those kind of things so anyway I'm sure that can be fixed at some point uh, but yeah just kind of a little forage into color basically um, it's what the channel's about you know the poetry of color and and kind of using those colors together and and using them in a way that's really lovely to you that it really makes you happy and um, yeah so you can see here this is the sketchbook that we did it in and that I think that just having that little wallpaper sample at the front also pr probably inspired me to go with the blue <music> This was the this is some footage from the beginning of January it was the first time that it snowed and I did this up for a video and then I think I may not have done a video that week or yeah um, anyway but look how little she is she's grown so much just in two months she's almost grown to um, the same size as our husky was well, fully grown it took him a year and yeah in two months so anyway um this was her first time seeing snow and she just absolutely loved it she's just really really taken with it I'm not sure what we're gonna do now that like the last snow is melted you can see and um yeah so we've got now a whole another year to wait but oh gonna be tricky what really struck me last night um watching this footage is how much she's grown at and changed in the last couple of months so it's almost taken her two to three months to get to the point that a normal puppy you know you bring them home and sort of in two or three days they're just your puppy they know they're your puppy and um, there's really no more question about that but almost for her it's almost been as if she feels like um or I, I don't know how to explain it but like she's you know if I'm this naughty is that it if I'm this naughty is that it you know and it's kind of taken her quite a while to figure out you know look and you can see here one morning I this I think that was my second attempt at trying to paint with her so really we go on walks every morning and I've only ever painted maybe four or five times with her um, she has like her activities that she just likes you know we kind of have our routine we play with the ball we go here we go there and yeah but um, you know it's taken her quite a while of reassurance and um, so not just obedience training but also kind of letting her 
know that you know like if you're five minutes late to feed her that doesn't mean you don't love her it doesn't mean you don't want her it's just um you know you might be kind of finishing the dishes or something you know um I'm going to link one of the episodes of um, Caesar's dog training. It's, it was actually a really good one and it talks about, um, you know, giving your ch- dog the chance to grow. And, you know, she sometimes like, if you're putting limitations on me, does that mean you don't like me or, you know, I have to, um, and it's like, no, you just, you know, you'll, you'll be, you'll feel better as a dog if you are kind of following you know better patterns and and like um yeah so anyway it's interesting like she has grown since since then and she's she's still a little bit naughty in that but she's very much attached to everyone and and attached to the fact that now she is our dog and yeah that's just taken more than obedience training but also just kind of letting her just be a part of everything and feel like she's welcome and she's wanted and loved um you can see her paw print there but yeah so anyway i um i will leave you guys with this and i will see you next week um i am shipping off the orders from last week this week and yeah putting some little freebies in so that's just taken me a couple of extra days but i'll see you soon bye